The UK announces two-year post-study work visa for international students. In other words, the UK is expanding the opportunities for international students to build successful careers in the UK. Basically, the UK would allow foreign students to stay for two extra years after graduation to find work. Who is eligible for a post-study work visa? Any international student who enrolls at a UK institution from September 2020 is eligible to stay in UK after their graduation. For the two years immediately after you graduate, you'll be able to work in any role you find. This sounds like good news, right? Let's watch the rest of the video. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking. My name is Stephanie and I'm a London-based content creator. On this episode, as you just seen from the title, we're going to be talking ways to settle in the UK in 2020. This is going to be a three-part series. The first part being this one, where I'll be telling you, uh, giving you like 14 different scenarios. Everything I'm going to tell you based on those scenarios are on the gov.uk website, so you can always go there. I'll make a blog post as well and put the link there. So whenever you click it, it will give you the most um, current information. So don't fail to do that. The blog post will be in the description box. And then we'll talk about my personal experience, experiences of some of my friends as well. And yeah, that will end this video. The next episode will be an interview with my friend who came in through the plant route. I'm going to ask her so many questions. She's going to direct you guys to tell you how to settle in the UK using the plant route. The third episode will be an interview with another friend of mine. We came in together as students some nine ten years ago and then she only got her legal stay after nine years literally nine years on the dot this is 2020 she got this thing in december 2019 so yeah that would be very insightful for some of you guys so let's get right into this i'm going to use 14 different scenarios to just tell you whether or not you can settle in the uk everything as i said is on the website and i'll put it on the screen as well so you can read while you're listening to me first one are you an eu citizen if the answer is yes obviously you can settle in the uk eu citizens do not currently need to apply to settle in the uk there will be no change to the rights of and status of eu citizens currently living in the uk until 30th june 2021 or 31st December 2020 if the UK leaves the EU without a deal. Are you the family member or partner of a British citizen? If the answer is yes. As a partner, parent or child under 18 or adult dependent relative, you can settle in the UK. Are you the family member or partner of someone who has already settled in the UK? If the answer is yes, you can settle in the UK. You can apply as the partner or child of a tier one, two or five visa holder who has settled in the UK. You may be eligible for settlement or ILR, which is indefinite leave to remain as a partner or child of the person who's already settled using either the tier one visa, except for the graduate entrepreneur one, or the tier one post-study work visa, which is the visa we talked about at the beginning of this video. You can also use the tier two visa and you can use the tier five international agreement visa for that as well. The fourth one, visitor visa. The answer is no. You cannot settle in the UK with a visitor visa. Although there are exceptional compassionate circumstances, which you must explain in detail if you choose to apply as a visitor. You have a study visa. The answer is yes, you cannot settle in the UK. The story is exactly the same as when you come here with a visa visa. The sixth one, have you got a work visa? Most of the different types of work visas will actually say yes, you can settle. And I'm going to list the most of them now. So there's a tier one visa, which is either general, exceptional, investor or entrepreneur. With either of these visas, you can actually settle in the UK. A highly skilled migrant program. With this one, you cannot settle in the UK. The tier two visas, which are the general or the minister of religion, the sportsman, the intra-company transfer visas, you can settle in the UK using these visas. And the tier five visa, which is the inter international agreement visa, yes, you can settle in the UK using that one. It could be the Turkish business person, Turkish worker visa, investor, innovator, business person, self-employed lawyer, yes you can settle in the uk the work permits so representative of an overseas business visa representative of an overseas newspaper news agency or broadcaster visa representative of an overseas business visa domestic work visa yes 
you can settle with all those visas so basically you can actually settle with every single work visa aside the highly skilled migrant program visa have you got a uk ancestry visa and you have not spent more than 180 days outside the uk past the life in uk test it's the english language requirements yes you can settle you've got a retired person visa yes you can settle with this visa been living in the uk on a retired person visa a continuous period of five years you have 25k annual income under your control close connections to the uk family members settled You're between 18 and 64 years old when you apply it's also passed the life in uk test and the, meet the basic english requirements i think that actually goes on for every visa passing the test and meeting the english requirements that is to finally settle your indefinite leave to remain and then getting the passport you've been settled in the uk before yes if you have been settled in the uk before and for some reason you're not settled anymore because you've gone out for so more than 180 days you can settle you can apply to settle in the uk again you have discretionary leave yes for this one you need to have lived in the uk for six years if you were first given discretionary leave on or before the 2nd of july 2012 for 10 years if you were first given the discretionary leave from 9th july 2012 so obviously there's dates to all these things which is the reason why you always have to go to read these things yourself if you were in the hm forces yes you can i've been living with the armed forces for a minimum of four years and then you have been medically discharged as well you are on a 10-year private life route yes you can settle in the uk you have to meet the following requirements you were between 18 and 24 and you lived continuously in the uk for more than half your life you were 25 or over and have been in the UK continuously for 20 years. You were over 18 and you spent less than 20 years in the UK but you had no ties with any other country. That's another good requirement. You were under 18 and you'd lived in the UK continuously for at least 7 years and it would have been unreasonable to expect you to live in a different country. You can settle. Eligibility. You must have been living in the UK for 10 years from the date you started your 10 year roots settlement of private life you will not be able to settle until 2022 at the earliest because that was 10 years after this new rule came about the 13th one you have been living in the uk legally for 10 years which is called the long residence so being here for 10 years legally that legally there's emphasis on it and you're going to understand this emphasis when we do the third episode of this series you can apply if you've been living in the uk legally for 10 years it's called the long residence then I put a link for you to check to see if you are legible because sometimes you could be in the UK but it doesn't count so you click that link and you find out but since if none of the above 13 routes I have listed are part of your situation you are not eligible to settle in the That's UK about it, guys um another thing I'm going to just talk about is how I came here I came in 2010 I came as a student um luckily in my time there was the PS post study work visa program it's just that it was cancelled and then brought back so this thing they brought back now is not a new thing to be honest they cancelled it and I think they gave it to just PhD students at the time so um after school we obviously all got the post study work visa it wasn't difficult to apply I think you just had to have was it 900 pounds for three months in your account and then pay for the fees and everything and just fill out everything you've been doing here obviously the school you should have been going to obviously it should be a uk institution it was my master's i came for i was in leeds during that time so after i graduated i got a job immediately guys this was not the case for so many people like getting a job wasn't the easiest thing luckily for me i got a job immediately like i literally started on my birthday that job so i knew it was a bread blessing and gift from god if i would say i did that for three years and obviously what was it even three years or two years for anyway it was quite a while i think it was three years some reason okay there was a reason it was three years okay so i did it. it was supposed to be two years and then at the point of um when it was getting to the end i had to apply for a new way to be in the uk because it was difficult for companies to sponsor there's rules for how companies sponsor it's not easy i don't think the government even makes it easy for the company so you can't even blame them for um to sponsor you because they literally have to prove there's nobody who's actually from the country that can do the work they want you to do so most of the industries you see sponsoring are like um technology industry or i think even the medical industry does that as well 
but I saw a lot more engineers being sponsored like um, British Telecoms they sponsored and some other good companies so I have friends who were sponsored when you're getting sponsored you have to go back to Nigeria or whatever your country is and then they do the documents for you and send for you come back usually they'll give you 2.5 years normally for any route that is a legal route one of these things I've listed minimum is five years there are some of them that will take you 10 years but minimum is five years so even for this sponsorship you you'll be given 2.5 first that is really scary so while you're at work like if they tell you to go and climb maybe you're doing engineering they tell you to go and climb the ceiling tomorrow you just go and climb it because you don't want anything to mess up your next 2.5 years so you can imagine just the, the the stress you know everything like you could be at work one day and then something's just happening there's a downsizing and you have to just be saying come i don't even want to leave this place because i know these are the people keeping me in this country so it's actually not the most comfortable situation luckily for me i was actually kind of on a contract role but i was employed by the company that was running the project for one of the before companies so it was it was calm like there were people who were earning three times what i was earning because they were contractors on the daily rate but i was kind of like a full staff with them so i was safe as long as my quality was good and target was being met i think i was kind i kind of safe compared to other people who companies were sponsoring after the whole PSW thing, I had to go for the next route, which was entrepreneur. Entrepreneur route is no longer here. I think there's something called the investor route, which will probably entail hundreds of thousands of pounds. But for the entrepreneur route, the rules were different. It's no more a route going on. So I don't know if there's even any point talking about it, but basically you had to show that you had 50K in your account and then obviously be investing it in the country, show them how the business is going to be run. You're, then you had to pay salaries for two citizens in the country and the minimum of 23K annually. So that, that would bring about, let's say, one five a month. You're paying them in salary and then you have to pay their taxes as well. So it was quite draining. People that did not have a job, this route was so so difficult to them i just really thank god i had a job at the point and then the company i was working with because there was a bit of struggle of submit this document submit that document that's how my psw actually extended to three years and the company i was working with um luckily they could understand when you got an acknowledgement letter from hmrc telling them this thing is still going on my lawyer says this is still going on you know so they were just fine as long as they knew they were not doing anything wrong they were fine so you guys is hectic like that anyway that entrepreneur is no longer a route for people to take i think it was called the tier five or something but it was just a, a route saying i'm doing business in this country and then i'm paying two people salary and i'm paying the taxes on these two people again guys you're still going to have to pay accountancy fee your accountant is going to pay you for each pay slip he does for yourself because even when you're running a company you have to pay yourself salary because that is your own money like your, your company's money is not your money even when you're going for schengen app appointments or whatever it is your whatever re renewal you're going to do you have to be sure that you're paying yourself money into your own personal bank account and then you're paying those other two citizens into their own account so it's quite hey, like you won't be able to think well trust me like i have stories of my my period then like uh, everything i went through anywho so that's entrepreneur it, it lasts for 2.5 years just like when a company sponsors you as i said after that 2.5 years you have to renew it again so you can imagine that renewal now when they now come and say okay that's money what have you done with it how have you grown what were you doing and they can ask you any question like i had people who they came to their houses which they obviously most times you call your office your house please can you bring your marketing research you did when you started this company like so what's happening right like any kind of question they want to ask you so i have friends who they came and then it was like the person who was even interviewing them wasn't <laughs> just wanted them to fill the interview and then when he said i didn't find this fair the guy walked out so he literally had to raise a complaint to hmrc and then you know it's hectic guys this psw they tell you think ah psw to two years that two years is for you to just arrange your head and decide what you want to do forget like this crazy, crazy roots just for you to decide come do i really want to be in this country what do i have to do um legally to keep myself here after the five years rosie rosie guys because that's it really once you've done your five years on on entrepreneur it's a good thing another way um, 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 um some people came in a couple friends of mine they fell in love fell in love with citizens and when you fell, fall in love with your citizens they sponsor you so you literally go get married if 
you're resident here while you're in love or you're a student here you guys can get married here but once you graduate you have to now go to your own country do the legal thing and then and apply because this person is kind of sponsoring you as a visitor you can't do any of that so you just sit down in your country and once they apply you do your biometrics to your country and then when, once it comes out you're here with your partner happy jolly and good another way is being a parent to a child um i think that's actually the most lenient way it's just that a child is involved so if you happen to fall in love with someone and then have a child you can apply to be a parent of a child you can apply either with the five-year route or the ten-year route with the ten-year roots usually they, they just that's that's why i think that's the most lenient one because I don't know which other routes they actually give you 10 years or 5 years. So with the 10 year route is when you don't have enough of the documents to um, be on the 5 year route. Because obviously a father of a child is a father of a child, mother of a child is a mother of a child, you get. So that's not something, it's not like marriage where you, you're not even sure what's happening. But that one is quite straightforward so they, I think they're being lenient to, to them with that. So once you start on the 10 year route, you're going to have to finish that 10 year route. If you are done 10 year route, let's say 2 and because it's obviously 2 and a half, 2 and a half, 2 and a half, 2 and a half for every segment you guys are you're paying fees for all the renewals. So let's say you've done 2 and a half and then you renew that 2 and a half and then you're tired of it like come I want to go on the 5 year route. I think I can meet the, um, the requirements for it. You have to start that 5 year route again. So let's say you've done 2 and a half and then another 1 year that's 3 and a half. And you want to do the five years so it's now going to be eight it's because you didn't want to now finish the ten do you get so you're always going to have to start that five year route again but i think that's a bit that that, that route is the most lenient if that's all i would say for this um episode i don't want it to be too long so as i said i've re read all those um requirements for you guys you can't you can't settle as a visitor and you can't settle as the um non-migrant agreement and um, program person but in other ways you can it's just that you have to make sure you follow all the guidance for every way to apply there are certain like there's just everything to do make sure you do it and then whenever you're submitting an application just imagine you're the one taking people's applications make everything simple if for instance you're a contractor and you're trying to submit confirmation like that you're earning this because that is another very important part like don't mess up your mind if you want to mess up any other document you can't but in fact you can't with your finances when they tell you this is the threshold meets that threshold because <laughs> you will just be kicked out so while you're doing something like that you can bring a fresh paper at the front of your your statements you know just helping the person direct them that ah, okay this is where this was paid this is where you know just something to make life easier for the person when you're doing your applications read forums there's so many forums online of people just talking of how theirs went, what they think made theirs go well, things like that. So read forums and then just stick to the rules. These people give you these rules. There's a checklist after every um, application. Check this checklist. Make sure you've ticked everything. Just make everything organized and beautiful. Just imagine someone is going to do 100 of this thing in today. Imagine the person is angry that day. Just make the person happy by submitting a very good beautiful application so yeah i just didn't want you guys to get so carried away with this post study work so yes so yes and then you just come looking for who's going to take you first of all you see company after one year you've not seen a, a single company who is going to employ you and then you're still looking around so just i don't know tackle yourself understand the situation <laughs> it's not the grievest situation but it's just annoying because you know you've spent so much money paying like three times what three times more than you know um other people have paid for school fees and then you just come and go so you just have everything at the back of your mind when you're coming and don't be so carried away make sure you ask questions ask questions guys ask questions every time all right i think that's enough for this episode as i told you the next episode is going to be the plab route with safina and then the third one will be the girl with the craziest experience i've ever seen with julia thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe to my channel if you haven't to join my family click the like button because it really helps my video go around you can drop a comment if you want i don't really care about that but yeah just click the like button communicate with me and then see you on the next episode Bye bye